What's going on guys? This is Destination D and finally everything is set for me to get my first 6 star monsters. As you can see I have 5 of oh, 5 stars to be used as a folder to get my first 6 star. This is gonna be my Water Inferno, my Water Salamanda my fire inugami my fire in champion i have uh, one more stashed in my summoning pieces so i can summon another one if i want to use it at some point so this one is going to be forwarded to my first six star and water war bear so these are the four monsters for my first six star evolving and now i'm going to quickly present to you all of the candidates for becoming my first six star and I'm gonna start off with natural four stars unfortunately I don't have any natural five stars so the first candidate to be my first six star is my Vertihail, my awakened fire vampire and uh, I will quickly show you his skills so his first skill has two attacks each of his attacks is recovering some of his HP and uh, uh, his uh, second attack has uh, the increased critical rate and deals uh, quite a punch, it deals lots of damage. And he has this passive that allows all of his attack that, attacks that deal critical hit to increase Ally's attack bar by 20%. So his first attack is dealing two blows, so this, there is a chance to increase uh, the team's attack bars by 40%, his next attack is uh, is increasing it by 20% and it has a high chance to crit and uh, so this is improving uh, monster speed greatly, monster battle speed greatly so he deal well more more blows and his uh, uh, leader skill that, is, that applies unfortunately only to dungeons improves their attacks, increases their attack speed even further so he makes your team be pretty quick, which is great against fighting giants that are pretty slow and uh, the more speed you have, the more blows you deal, but the more retaliations you receive as well. And, uh, well, this monster is pretty great. He is ruined all crit and I think I will uh, reconsider uh, re-ring him into Blade Rage and I would like, while doing this, I would like to counter the loss of critical chance uh, by having uh, secondaries on my rage wounds. So if I am removing two blades, I am losing 12% 12, 12 of critical chance and I want to make sure that my rage wounds have the same amount of crit chance, crit rate as their secondaries. This is gonna be hard, but I think it's possible. I think it's possible. I will try to ruin him this way because not only I want him to crit as often as it's possible, I want him to deal uh, more critical damage because uh, as of now he has only like uh, 118 critical damage and I want him to deal more because he has a pretty high critical rate. So this is my first candidate. The second candidate, let's start off with fire ones. So the second candidate is my Arnold. I've awakened him not so long ago and I have gotten him a long time ago, even before I started recording videos, as well as my Fire Vampire. And uh, they were just sitting in my best cherry, doing nothing before someone, some of you, some one of my commenters advised that I should really pay more attention to these monsters. They are natural four stars and they are really strong. And uh, I started to do that. This is uh, how I got my Arnold uh, leveled up and awakened. You'll see he has a huge health pool. It's about 25k already. He's the only monster that has a 6 star rune level to level 13 for now. And uh, it helps him get, uh, as you can see, this is uh, heavily HP in increasing rune. And uh, I want him to have as much HP, HP as possible before, because of his uh, last skill, this extortion. Uh, this deals 30% uh, of his uh, HP pool as damage, and this is attribute independent, so he damages even water monsters for the same amount of damage, and all of this uh, damage is instantly restored to him as HP, 
So this is a powerful safe self heal. This uh, deals lots of damage, and the more HP he has, uh, and he still has uh, uh, some potential in this uh, direction because none of his uh, energy runes are capped. None of them are six stars. Uh, so when he has all of his energy runes uh, like six starred and uh, capped, and as you can see, I have two four sixes that increases his HP pool, he will deal lots of damage with the skill. His first skill is also useful because it disturbs uh, enemies HP recovery, which is useful against bosses like uh, Wind Guardian, and th this is generally useful. And his second skill is AoE, it, is, it has a chance to decrease enemy enemies attack power for two turns, uh, which is also pretty useful. Okay, I think this is uh, all about Arnold. So this is my Jojo. This was the first monster I fused, and uh, after I got my Ciara, this was the first monster I I fused to uh, be paired with her because he has her skills. Yeah, I will. Uh, well, I will tell about her skill a bit later. So. Uh, he is defense based, which is surprising to me. His first skill is the same as my Fire Death Knights, and it disturbs enemies HP recovery for two turns. His second skill is AoE, and it applies bombs to all of the enemies that are detonated in two turns. And his last skill is also AoE, deals lots of damage, deals really good damage, and it has a chance to apply continuous damage to all of the enemies, and his leader skill is improving monster's defense in dungeons by 33%. This monster is pretty strong, I'm using him all the time in my PvP battles, and he is a strong candidate to be my first 6 star, and his runes are, well, not the best ones, but still they are good, and he has much potential in uh, terms of wounds. Uh, so this is my third candidate, now let's switch to my water team, and the first candidate is my lure. As you can see, his skills are upgraded to level 2, that's because I was spoiling him with Devilmons. Each Devilmon I got, I was, um, was fed to this monster and I like him because his first ability has a chance to stun in the enemy, his second ability has a chance to decrease enemy's attack bar, thus slowing the enemy, and his last skill is AoE, it uh, has a chance to decrease enemy's defense by two turns, and this is AoE, I love AoEs. His area, his uh, leader skill is improving accuracy of all the allies in arena for 40%, and he is often my team leader in arena. And uh, he is the only monster that has despair runes. Uh, this is because I want him to have higher chance of uh, stunning enemies, because he has uh, his first skill that uh, al already has a chance to stun the enemy, and he has his AoE. And uh, there were situations with, where he stunned uh, all the monsters in the enemy's team. So, like, four of them were stunned in, in an instant, which this is great. This uh, happens pretty rare, but still, this is great. a great chance to win a PvP battle. Thus, his runes are not strong, but I think I will have stronger despair runes in due time. And uh, this is one of the best candidates for becoming my first 6 star. The next water candidate is my Sue. I got her in one of my first summon times, in like the third one, I think. Her skill, uh, her first skill is uh, speed dependent. That's why she has uh, four swifts. I want and uh, I want her to be as uh, fast as it's possible, and I want her to do more damage. So her first skill has a chance to decrease enemies' attack speed. Uh, she is useful against giants and all kinds of bosses. And uh, her second skill is also useful against bosses because uh, it deals free attacks and each of these attacks has a chance to apply uh, continuous damage to an enemy if it lands a critical hit. This is why she has a couple of blades and her critical rate is uh, 74. <laughs> and uh, this is due to her having 
her critical rating increased by 15% by awakening. This is why she has a low, more critical chance, but by my, but than my vampire. And her last skill is uh, safe is a self heal. She recovers 50% of the damage dealt into her health pool. Uh, I'm not using her much in PvP. She's much more useful in dungeons, and she's pretty squishy in PvP. And I have um, greater, well, better monsters for using uh, against fire teams. And the they are all on the screen except for her. This is uh, well uh, not uh, and nickel. So I am using my lure, my arena, and my Megan in my PvP battles mostly. So this is my water team, this is the force, natural 4 star candidate from my water team and now we're switching to my wind team which is uh, represented by only a couple of uh, natural 4 stars the first one is my wind oracle and uh, I have awakened her by your guys advice I've made a video where I was asking which of my wind monsters should be awakened first and uh, your choice uh, was made and it was Ciara and uh, you have commented there that she will be used she will be great when paired with my Jojo that's because of her last skill that uh, detonates all the bombs applied to uh, units uh, in an instant this is a redam this uh, deals a damage and detonates all the bombs and she also has a skill that applies the bomb to one single enemy and it will detonate in three turns uh, so the Jojo skill is uh, a bit better in terms of uh, bombing so he's a, I think he is a better demolition than her and her first ability has a three attacks that has a chance that have a chance to recover 15% uh, of uh, the monsters attack bars and they if this attack deals three three hits so it's like 45% uh, 45% attack bar restoration for all of the monsters in an instant this is why she is ruined all crit because none of her skills are benefiting from anything other than the first one is benefiting on crit. The bomb deals lots of damage by its own, and uh, her last skill, uh, well. <laughs> oh, I forgot, it also removes the continuous damage debuffs from monsters, and uh, it also deals their damage in an instant right after this skill is applied, so if you've got lots of dots on a monster or on a boss, all of this damage will be applied in an instant, which is also great. Her skills are all level 1, which is pretty bad, but still. So this is one of my candidates to be my first 6 star, and also there is Ninja, his skills are also not leveled, and uh, he is heavily continuous damage based unit so his first skill has a chance to apply continuous damage his last skill uh, deals six hits and each of them has a chance to apply continuous damage and they are all like uh, there are they will be procced in one turn so if he deals like all the six six crits and uh, six hits and all the six continuous damage debuffs are applied they will tick in next turn, thus dealing like 30% uh, damage to monsters HP pool. This is great against bosses like giants and uh, all kinds of bosses. And his second skill has a chance to decrease monsters attack bar by 30 by 30%. And if the giant, for example, is slowed by by Sue or by some other monsters, and he removes the 30% of his attack bar. The giant has just no chance to get to his turn. There were many situations where I killed the giant before he got even one hit dealt. Uh, so this monster is great and he's not awakened yet. I think his turn will come at some point, but he is great as he is. And he is all ruined all crit, of course. And uh, well, he has a crit rate, the highest crit rate of all of my monsters. He has a 92% uh, of percent chance to deal a critical hit. 
and I'm pretty tired of talking, frankly. But I think this was the last of my natural four stars, and now I would like to show you a couple of natural three stars that have uh, that I will consider to be my first six star, or at least my second six star. So this is Rina. She has uh, her skills, her first skill leveled. Uh, that because I was unlucky when I was feeding her with other became priests, I just uh, was leveling on the, only the first skill of hers. So she has more potential in improving her healing spell that heals two monsters, and in her in improving her shield that provides the great survivability to her. This shield is applied once she is critically hit, it applies for 3 turns, and it depends on her health pool, which is second to Fire Death Knights, which is about more than 20k. Uh, this allows her to carry 3 forders at once into Fame of, fame of Volcano level 1 hard, and uh, she's my main, like, my main uh, coach for leveling all of my forder. She has leveled lots of order in the past weeks, and uh, maybe if she's maybe she becomes a level uh, the, what the first six star of mine. She will be capable of carrying them in Fame of Volcano Hell. I'm not sure it's possible, but still, she doesn't have the greatest runes. She has only a couple of five stars, I think, or maybe just one. Yeah, just one five star, but she has three of her runes already kept. And so she is a good candidate to become a 6 star at some point, maybe not now, but at some point. And also there is my Megan, that is prominent due to her buff, due to her AoE buff, that increases monsters attack power and their defense for 2 turns. And this is, uh, and she has this uh, leader skill that applies to Arena, that increases monster attack power by 21%, but uh, the Lures leader skill is better, so I'm using it most of the times. She's easy to level her skills, because, uh, well, uh, Mystic Witches are not that rare, so there is much harder to level her skills with. Uh, this is a good thing about 3 stars monsters, easier to level their skills. And I think the last candidate of my 3 stars to become my first 6 star, maybe, is my Rayok. He has all of his skills capped, he has pretty good attack power, and he has this great strength and skill thing of his first skill, so he has a chance to deal uh, not only one attack, but like a series of attacks. Childish calls it beast mode, because uh, Rayok has a chance to kill a monster in just one attack if his uh, ability procs like several times so he's, he's just like and the enemy is dead and if the enemy is dead his passive comes into play and allows him to uh, make his next attack if he kills a monster in his last so this monster is pretty strong i think he is overpowered all of the P most of the pvp pvp teams feature ray Oaks. I think he's too overpowered for just a 3 star, for just a natural 3 star. But what you gonna do? You just have to use this monster. So he is my candidate, and uh, there is a mistake I made uh, running him all focus. This is, as I researched this topic, and this seems to be a common misconception, and uh, some of you guys have already left a comment uh, while well, confirming that this is a misconception. I thought that focus is improving the chance of ability to proc. So if I have like 100 accuracy and Rayok was capped to his accuracy before I started re ruining him to uh, Fatal, I thought that uh, if he has 100 accuracy his proc on his first skill will be uh, it will be used each time, so the, this will be 100% chance that he will deal one attack after another. I don't think it's gonna. It could be. This should be too OP, I think. So he could be. He could single-handedly destroy any team, 
And uh, I researched this topic and yes, it turned out that accuracy only improves the chance to penetrate uh, enemy monsters resistance and it only improves the chance to apply the ability but the chance of ability to proc depends only on uh, the skill level. This is why I started reuniting him into panel and I have I, I'm not using him much recently so I have left this process in like in a middle. So this I think this, this is my last candidate to be my first six star of uh, natural three stars. There are a couple of more monsters, but I don't think they're gonna be six stars anytime soon. Maybe when I'm bored of this game, then I'm gonna turn them into six stars. And guys, I have totally forgotten about one more natural three star. So I will have to paste this piece into my well, into my video. This is my garage. This is my fire werewolf. And uh, he is prominent uh, for two things. He's great HP pool and his great survivability, that, which heavily depends on, on his HP pool. And his first attack disturbs enemy's HP recovery for one turn. Uh, at some point it was unique. He was the only monster I had that uh, has had this ability, so I used him against uh, bosses like uh, Wind Guardian. And I have a video where with my Wind Guardian tactics uh, he disturbed his HP recovery and uh, this helped me a lot and he was uh, capable of standing uh, by his own against the Wind Guardian due to his last skill which is healing him each turn for 10% of his health pool and uh, the more health he has the uh, best, the better recovery he has so he uh, totally compensated all the damage that Fire Guardian was dealing to him with his this ability and it also increases his uh, the healing received by 100%. This is why my Rina or any other healing monsters uh, are recovering lots well like more than a half of his HP pool. This is pretty great and his uh, second ability has a chance to stun the enemy. He doesn't well, it uh, has a pretty good chance to stun, it's just 30% chance, and uh, it deals two attacks, so there is a, like a, two, two, two more chances to, aim, to stun the enemy. And uh, I would also consider him to be my first 6 star due to his survivability. He doesn't do much damage, but he he really can stand punch and he can be the great tank in PvP battles and in uh, dungeons and in all kinds of battles because all the monsters uh, are attacking him and he is self-healing and he can be easily healed back to his uh, maximum health. This is why I would consider him also to be one of my first six stars and I would like to know what you guys think about it. As you can see I have uh, lots of natural four stars uh, to become my first six star and I would like to hear out what you guys think. Whom should I turn into my first six star? Will it be my Jojo or maybe it will be my Lure? Lure has uh, more of his skills uh, leveled up than Jojo but still Jojo is a good monster. Maybe it will be my Ciara. <laughs> my voice is starting to die out uh, so I would really like to know what you guys think you already helped me with awakening my first uh, wind monster and I'm pretty happy with my Ciara so I heavily rely on your advice many of you have more experience in game than me so I would really uh, like to hear you out uh, I have presented you my all of my monsters that I am considering candidates for my first six star and now it's up to you guys. I will take your advice, I will take my own thoughts and my own experience into consideration and after I made my opinion I'm gonna make my first six star evolving video and uh, yeah I'm gonna have my first six star and I'm gonna free up Five spots in my monster inventory, which is uh, also good. 
I, I'm always uh, am experiencing some deficit in you know, monster in monsters space. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more, please subscribe to my channel, and I will keep you updated on all things Summoners War.